Governor Kathy Hochul is responding to Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman's order banning transgender females from competing at county-run athletic facilities. Hochul says Blakeman is trying to score cheap political points. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook live outside the county's executive office in Mineola. Elijah. Well, in just a few seconds, Chris and Mary, you will see just how highly controversial uh, this ban has become. Good morning to the both of you. As you mentioned, the county executive, Bruce Blakeman, is, is calling this ban here essentially biologically fair to women. On the other hand, uh, critics are calling this move transphobic and illegal. Today, transgender athletes won't be able to compete in girls' and women's sports at Nassau County facilities. The ban would not apply to co-ed or male sports, only female competitive sports. At the helm of the decision, County Executive Bruce Blakeman, who signed off on it Thursday. It is an unfair advantage for someone who is a biological male to compete against a biological female. At this high school basketball game in Rockville Center, parents and students defended Blakeman's decision to make the ban at more than 100 county facilities. If you're biologically a man, I don't want to be playing a sport against you. Wouldn't want a boy competing against my, my daughter. Blakeman says the order was sparked by concerned parents, but there was instant outrage by trans rights advocates. On Thursday, protesters gathered outside county government offices calling the ban a political stunt and discriminatory. These are just kids, kids who want to play sports, kids who want to make friends. And back out of here live, we do want to mention that Governor Hochul is also weighing in, uh, criticizing this move, saying that it is unfair to young children. Uh, we know that the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, says her office will be exploring legal options when it comes to this case. That's the latest here from Mineola, Long Island. Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you. Bronx